Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, so I'm sure you all have heard about the story that just recently came up on the news about in the Cincinnati Zoo this kid who fell into a gorilla enclosure and I've been watching all these videos on YouTube seeing everybody's different opinions and after seeing all that I just I just had to make this video because I heard some outlandish things uh, on YouTube about this. Um, first of all I have to say personally that I agree with the decision that the Cincinnati Zoo made, you know, to, to put the gorilla down. I agree with that decision. A lot of people don't, um, but, you know, that's just, you know, this is just my opinion. Um, first of all, I agree with the decision because some people say, oh, you could have tranquilized it. Well, if you would have tranquilized it, it could have caused the animal to be, you know, angry or irritated and that gorilla if you actually saw the video that gorilla was right over that kid he wasn't like 50 feet away you know out of harm's danger he was like right underneath him so if he would have gotten angry whatever would have happened that kid would have either gotten killed or gotten hurt and then they would have had to probably put the gorilla down anyways so then you could have lost two lives instead of just one but you could have just you know save one life. Um, I, I've never thought that a human's life should be weighed less than an animal's life. I'm a biologist. I'm a biology major. I'm in college right now and I love animals. I do. But I've never thought that animals came before humans. Never. And that's why I support the decision that the Cincinnati Zoo made. And I know that they made the right decision because other zoos you know, like I think the Miami Zoo uh, backed them up in their decision. And even animal behaviorists who know how gorillas think, how they work, who've been studying them for years, even said the same thing. That that, that, that was really the only thing that they could do. And on top of that, the zookeepers did everything that they could to keep from, you know, going to that option. They even tried to call the gorillas away, which they were able to do. There was two other gorillas, if I'm not mistaken, um, in the cage. And they were able to call them to get them away from the kid and the male gorilla that had him. And when they tried to call the male gorilla, he ignored them. So they tried everything that they could before, you know, getting to that option. So you can't just say, oh, they just jumped straight to shooting the gorilla. No, they, they tried everything that they could, you know. And second, if, if he would have gotten hurt or gotten killed, um, then the zoo's reputation would have went down. Like, everybody would have known the zoo as, oh, that zoo where so-and-so's kid got hurt. And you don't want to, would you really want to go somewhere like that? Like, say, hey, hey, do you want to go to the zoo? Oh, no, that's that zoo where that kid died at. Like, you wouldn't want to, you know, that would kind of scare you away from going to it. So I feel like... Even though it might have been a rough decision, I feel like it was the right decision that they made. And, I mean, so a few people might have been mad because they shot the gorilla and because it was an endangered species and, you know, they're not going to go there anymore. Well, that's better than if you would have let the kid get hurt or killed and lose probably way more people because I'm pretty sure a lot of people felt, you know, negatively about them saving the gorilla over the kid and yeah I agree that the mother should have been watching him but you know I think we should have mercy because hey sometimes accidents happen sometimes things happen sometimes I mean I don't think that the mother is a bad parent it's just accidents happen you know and 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 we should just learn from this you know like just make sure you always watch you know where your children are just be mindful you know and um, just always know where they are, you know, 24-7. Like, try to keep an eye on them. And if you can't keep an eye on them all the time, then just have somebody, you know, with you that can help you watch them, you know. But, and this is just my personal opinion on, you know, the whole ordeal. You know, thumbs up if you like this video. Um, leave a comment if you want. Just, you know, let me know.